Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of a BAP dictionary or data dictionary. And our new topic is table maintenance generator events, or we can say TMG events. We already studied the topic table maintenance generator. We generated the table maintenance generator. After that, we maintained the data in the tables using SM30 transaction code. Now, our topic is TMG events or table maintenance generator events. Yes, this topic involves a BAP programming. So, if you know a BAP programming, you can cop up very easily. If you don't know a BAP programming up to this level, no problem. I will go in such a way so that you can pop up very, very easily. Suppose previously we covered the topic lock object. At that time, I also told you this. You can learn how to activate a lock object. Then you can learn a BAP programming and you can learn the rest part after that. Same thing is applicable to this topic also. You all know what is TMG, how to generate, how to maintain data into the tables. So you can learn a BAP programming first, then you can come on to TMG events topic. If you want to go in the flow, no problem, because anyways, I will go in such a way so that everyone can pop up very, very easily. Now, firstly, we will cover what is event, then I will come on to TMG event. Now, it's a golden rule always. Event always, always triggered by two things. Event always, always require two things. First thing, we are performing a action. One thing, we are performing an action, then the event will trigger. Second case, a time has been reached, a limit has been reached, a occurrence has been reached. At that time, we will not perform any action, but event will trigger automatically. It's a golden rule in terms of event in every programming language, event either require a action from our end or second thing it will trigger automatically when a time has been reached suppose simple example what is the best example of action suppose i am going for mouse right click if i will not go for mouse right click how i can perform the various actions so at that time, I performed a action. So mouse click, suppose I'm clicking onto any key. I am clicking onto any key from the keyboard. So I'm performing a action. So at that time, event will trigger. So they are the best examples of the event in which you are performing a action. Mouse click pressing any key from the keyboard because we are performing action. So at that time, event will trigger. Now, what is the second example? Suppose I'm working on my laptop. Suddenly, my laptop throw a runtime error running out of memory. At that time, I have not performed any action at all. But a situation has been reached that there is no memory in my system and system automatically triggered the event running out of memory. So we always, always two things. First thing, either you are performing an action or a time has reached. So at that time, the event triggered automatically. Now, same thing is applicable to table maintenance generator events. We have so many events 
for some events yes we need to perform a action and some event will trigger automatically when a time or occurrence has been reached suppose we will go for system and understand suppose i will go to sm30 transaction code sm30 you all know whenever you want to maintain that data in that table you are going to sm30 transaction code suppose i am clicking on to maintain or edit button now suppose i am clicking on to save button it means i am performing a action because you are clicking on to save button i am clicking on to new entries button it means i am performing a action so event will trigger suppose i am pressing enter so at that time what event will trigger so this is our topic tmg event and yes we will write the logic using these events depends upon the requirement we will add the logic using this tmg event we are going for save we are going for new entries we are going for enter so we will go for or we will use all these events and we will write the logic on to these events now how how you can go for the event yes you can go for tmg event how you can navigate to tmg event we can go through sc11 transaction code also or you can go for sc54 transaction code also if i will navigate to tmg event through sc11 transaction code suppose i am going to sc11 transaction code i will go to change mode of the table utilities table maintenance generator this is the way you generated that tmg also so what is the path sc11 utilities table maintenance generator you can go to environment modification and this is the events so this is the way you can navigate to tmg event and one another way is there that is a shortcut itself rather than doing this much steps you can directly directly go to sc54 transaction code give the name of your table choose the radio button events and you can simply simply if you want to display you can display if you are creating or changing you can click on to this button so you can see we have same to same screen which we navigated through sc11 transaction code so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with a new topic that is table maintenance generator events or tmg event we already covered that topic tmg now we are covering tmg event firstly we understood that event is always always required two things either we are performing a action or it will trigger automatically when a certain limit time or occurrence has been reached we took the example best example of action mouse click keyboard you are pressing any key from the keyboard this is a best example because you are performing action the best example where we are not performing any action running out of memory because a certain limit has been reached and my system throw the error running out of memory now in case of tmg same thing is here some events require action from our end some events we will not perform any action but they will trigger automatically when a time has been reached after that i showed you in sm30 we are going for save button we are going for new entries button 
we are pressing enter so these all are action so at that time event will trigger and yes depends upon the requirement we will write the logic using these events now how you can navigate to table maintenance generator event what is one way you can go to sc11 transaction code would pass the name of your table utilities table maintenance generator environment modification events and what is other way you can simply simply go to sc54 transaction code give the name of your table choose the radio button events and yes you will be able to see same to same screen so you can navigate to tmg event through sc11 or sc54 transaction code in the next video we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement using tmg events Yes, so that's it in this particular video. Thank you.